Yeah. yeah. Welcome beans. We're doing Skyline Valley. I held off the quest for a bit, but we should be good to go. I haven't started the main story yet, so we'll do that today, as well as exploration around the new valley. Maybe we'll find some strange oddities around. <laughs> With the the Atlantic City fog, it looks great. All right, we'll put the uh, challenges on to you while we're at it, just so I can do those. I need to call it orange, right? Yeah.
Hi, Bean. How you doing? We're doing. I'm. I'm ready to start the thing here. I'm just doing a quick drop off of some of these, and then we'll we'll, we'll we'll move into the. We got to start the start the main main bit. <laughs> How you doing, Bean? Someone told me I had a few loose screws. I am still looking for those screws. Just enjoy your stream. How's it going? I'm doing good. Just starting. We're gonna do. We're gonna hop into Skyline, Skyline Drive, and getting down into the, uh, into the valley. I'm also. We're also gonna look for a few. Uh, um. We're also gonna look for a few items or a few fun little scenes if we can find any. I found a few interesting encounters while just looking for, uh, look, locations on the map. First, we're gonna start open up the broadcast. I've always said music is food for the soul. Okay. Make sure to get some natural food too. All right, up near Sutton. Yeah, I play. I play. I play lots. I, I play lots of games, but I usually do a lot of seventy six. But I play like Apex, Minecraft, uh, a bunch of other games. Mostly Apex. My, my, my main three games I'm playing right now is Fallout seventy six, Vigor, and Apex at the moment. Source. Oh, there it is. You stream daily? What's my schedule like? It usually usually I do daily streams if I can, but um, mostly I haven't been able to well, due to my work schedule. Next time I'm at the wayward. But um, usually around this time. Wow. Anything down in here? No, just a bunch of dirt. Oh wow, it really skipped. Holy cow. It, it bounced. <laughs> wow. So it landed right about here. Bounced. Bounced again, and then landed right over here. For a few, I've been streaming for a few years. <laughs> it's Dutch. It's Binks. I should call this into foundation. Paige is gonna want to hear this. Man, this day is full of surprises. First, this darn vault door lands here. Now you've come to collect it. I'm here to collect vault doors. <laughs> oh, by the number, I'd say this is from Vault 63. My buddy told me that it's located in the ash heap. 
I can mark it on your map. If you do make your way down there, stay safe. I heard it's overrun with mole miners. And the ash heap itself is barely breathable without a mask. And one wrong step might charcoal roast your foot. That aside, there's been a crazy storm brewing down that way. Doubt it's related, but I think I'll steer clear myself all the same. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> hey, dweller. All right, Bean. Thanks. Thanks, Bean. <clears throat> Ooh, thank you. I read Ben the Vault sixty-three <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> it's always been inaccessible to me. How are you? Good. I am. Mm, that's that's weird. <clears throat> but the uh <laughs> What is it, Eve? <laughs> um, but no like I'm s hold on. There we go. <laughs> that better? All right. Yes, sir. So, it, just so it doesn't seem like you're talking to nobody. All right. I, I know. <laughs> All right. So I, I've already seen a. The start of this quest, so mm -hmm. I kind of know, like up to the manor and uh, into the vault atrium. But other than that, mm -hmm. I know what's beyond that. But I have done a few, a little bit of searching. I found some weird encounters already. All right. Um, I found a fun little. Hmm. Uh, there's a. Um, there's a weird cultist site out by. Um, between the archway mm -hmm. and the ca cultist cave. Ooh, that's why I had to learn. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff in this update. I've been through the whole story and all that, and I've I'm seen a lot of cool locations. A lot of Easter eggs, too. Have you, have you found the mole? I, fa I saw the mole. Yes, I have. I have killed about 15 of them already. Okay, good. I, I wanted to make sure he wasn't a really recurring character because I got concern. Mm -hmm. He's just like a little special enemy. Yeah. Because he's like the mascot of the pioneers. Would you like one of the new outfits? I will, or... What do you mean? I will, or... Mm. Uh... I will like one of the new outfits, or I like one of the new outfits. Would you like want one? one? Uh, I mean, will I get one eventually? Uh, yes, you will get the plants for it eventually. I'm just saying if you'd like me to craft them for you now, or do you want to Oh, no, work? no, I, I got it. Okay. Okay. Demon! The demon! <laughs> this is not Halo <laughs> Bean. Not again. A blue devil spawned inside of my camp. Yay, uh, Wolfie! This happens all the time to all of my camps, and no one understands why. 
No matter where I go, I just get a blue devil inside of it. It's like it wants me. Uh uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Blue Devil. I know, I see you, buddy. No, don't destroy my camp. Shoot me, or hit me. There you go. Well, obviously, that whole time and I just got one shot. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, what are you okay. oh. doing in there with them? Uh, before I continue on the quest, though. Oh, mm -hmm. wait. Wait, for, wait for Hilda to stop talking. I have so many questions. Yeah, she doesn't stop talking. <laughs> I could use someone with a lethal skill set. Hey, would you be up for a little hike? You know, I've been trying to make a new build, actually. With one of the new weapons. Very astute, it's a really cool, very powerful Tesla rifle they released. It's called the B63 Bertha. I recommend keeping it if you do get it, because it is a rare weapon. Uh, so, so fun little, uh, hmm. there's, there's two little fun facts I want, I don't know if you already heard, you probably already heard already, but, so, do, do you run, do you run the bloody commando or no? Uh, this is my first time trying it. Okay, well, do you plan to be a ghoul? Um, yes, and I know it's gonna affect the bloody because they heal radiation. No, but like, um, mm. it, it pretty much makes the build pretty much unviable. Mm hmm And then also you can't do the Brotherhood quest line and a few other things. What if you did the Brotherhood quest line, then you, you became a ghoul? Uh, I don't, mm. I don't, I think they're, they're hostile to you. Okay. Um, the, uh, what's it called? Um. Oh, there's also a terminal. There's a terminal mm. in one of the references that references Point Lookout from Fallout okay. 3. Yeah, no. Um, whenever the goal thing does come, I do plan on doing it. Yay! It seems pretty unique. Unfortunately, it doesn't release until next year. Craig? Hi, Craig. Where are you going? Get away from me! Craig, why are you no up here? Way. Don't lead him here! Craig isn't supposed to be here. He's supposed to be further down. I just accidentally tamed a blue devil. That's not supposed to happen. He's not even attacking my base or me. Okay. You know, I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, then.
B's diary page. Well, in my room this morning, I noticed an interesting trail off to the side of the slumber mill to explore. I think I might sneak off to it tomorrow and see where it leads. Why is this all the way up here? At the top of the park. A slumber mill? A trail? Hmm. hmm. Also, did you meet the uh, the electrician yet? The electrician? Uh, yes. One? They're called. It is called the electrician. It's a random encounter. Um, not yet. No. It's it spooked me at first. <laughs> do, so, do you want to know what happens? Mm. It's like random encounter. Um. So, like, if you're walking along a road, you'll see a lightning bolt strike the ground. Mm -hmm. Like a big, a big lightning bolt with a loud crack, like like much of the weather, the, like the camp oh. weather system. And then uh, you and then this, then a a guy will appear out of nowhere and start fighting enemies like blood eagles or <laughs> whatever is hostile to you. Mm -hmm. And then the the, uh, the electrician isn't hostile to you, mm -hmm. and but if you, if you try talking to him, they'll just disappear in a flash of like electricity. Hmm. They just randomly, they just randomly show up to kill enemies and then run and disappear. So basically, they're like the mysterious stranger. Yes, but they're more like heavily armored and like almost kind of hmm. like like the mechanist from uh, Fallout Three. Okay, I'll say this. You know, the first time I got into Skyline Valley, I absolutely hated it. So as I stepped into the stormy area, right? Guess what happens? What? I immediately get hit with lightning and I died. <laughs> as I stepped into the new area. I was just like, what? A memorial plaque? Dedicated to the memory of Ranger Gloria Morelli, who perished in the line of duty while evacuating local residents during the flash flooding of 2075. Gloria's dedication and commitment to the park, as well as the people who reside in it will never be forgotten. I'm sure this story will take more light eventually. Mm. Oh, uh, let me know if you find any spices. Give them to me and I can give you something in return. Okay. I make a lot of what's called mysterious meat pies. So I just need, like, oh, intestines yeah. from the new enemies. Spices and toxic water. And spoiled meat is extremely easy to come by because I just kill the thrashers for it as well. By the way, I think they're one of my most like favorite enemies. Because did you know they could trip? And damage the themselves. The what? The Thrashers can trip and damage oh, yeah. themselves. The turkeys. Yeah. Yeah. Also, oh, this is a very cursed. Uh, mm. This is a very cursed image. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Do, 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 do. Man, where do you get oil again? Uh, that's like my biggest issue right now. Um, you got oil from, uh, um, gas canisters, uh, okay. oil cans. Another blue devil just spawned. Give me a second. <laughs> Ooh, that's a, there's, there's some outlets there. Ooh, nice mm -hmm. Shenandoah plate. That looks cool. Shenandoah glassware. Keep them all for like displays or whatever. If you have like the chessboard thing, there you I go. I can't pick them up. I can't pick them oh, up. Oh, you can't. They're inside a. Uh, I'm inside the uh, welcome center. Oh, the welcome around. center. Yeah. Those are some, those are some squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the welcome center, I believe, has like all the critters in the game. Pretty sure. Beaver. 
They Fair. also added with the turkeys pheasants. If you've seen. <clears throat> And I am now stuck on a rock. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah. Since when does the blue devil run from you? It's running from me. It's not even attacking. It does that. Okay. Never seen it do that before now. I'll be honest. The black bear. Uh, I, can, I could be able to read this, but it's like, it's not loading in. The texture's not loading in. I can come over there and read it for you if you want. Hold on. Do. How many species are there? Are 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 all all there? Yeah. It's because of the uh the my the textures isn't loading. Sometimes it takes a while. All right, Shenandoah National Park Visitor Center. Why are you here? <laughs> hmm? We. I'm trying to. I was, I was exploring. Oh, oh. I, okay, let me, let me look at this uh, terminal here and see what this says. Why you load in, I guess. Oh, I'm in already. My oh, yeah, game wait, never mind. Load faster in now. I figured out the issue. announcement. You don't get to put the announcement like this, but it's been gone on far too long. The office is no place for this kind of inappropriate behavior. The individuals involved have been dealt with, so if I hear any more about the subject, the offending parties will be rewarded with a month's suspension without pay. This is a zero tolerance policy for such accusations. I cannot stand for any more of this. We are park rangers, not children. What? Uh. I assume it's for the. Is there, there's no date on this one? There's no date. This is about Gloria. Most of you know we are tragically lost. Uh, a good ranger a few years ago, Gloria Morelli, gave her life to save those trapped during the flash floods of 75. So we'll be honoring her memory with the plaque unveiling look, located outside the main entrance. The event will start with some words from myself and Kevin to talk about Gloria's life as a park ranger. Then a member of the Morelli family will talk about Gloria herself. Please be aware that there will be press at this event, so please have your uniforms pressed and please remember to be professional. The unveiling will take place on August 27th. That's the last Friday of the month, so this this is also an invitation to head to the slumber mill after work for memorial drinks. Uh, Pioneer Scouts at Camp Liberty. Some of the counselors have been in touch regarding the woodland safety. They are interested in general knowledge as well as edible plants. What to do if you get lost, all that generic outdoorsy stuff. Okay, and... Uh, it won't let me in I... with you because you're not leader. Hold up. Oh. All right. It's okay. This is, a this is a reminder to all of you that we'll be hosting the annual Shenandoah Halloween Spooktacular on October 31st from April 7th to or October 7th to, from 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. As always, this will be hosted at the Rapidan Camp, which will graciously be open to all visitors for the night. Attendees will be able to participate in the fun games and activities held at the top of the hour every every hour all night. So there, so that's that's why when I went there, there's a bunch of Halloween decorations there. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. something I do want to show you that's in there. I think you you'd like it. Well, visitor center key. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I can open it up so you could see back there. Uh, I, I, I want to be I want to be surprised. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say there's a really cool item back there that you can't have at your camp. Ooh, I like. It's it's big, like very very big. Is it a mammoth? Um, no. Oh, okay. Just say it's like really big. You'll see. It could take up a whole part of a room, too. It's nice. Look, you know how big each square is for, like, a floor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It pretty much takes up almost two floors. Oh, yeah, that is a lot. It's a cool item, though. All right. Let's 
also saying whenever you get done with all the quests, I could show you how to do the nuke for this area as well. It doesn't matter where where you put it, just as long as it goes in the park. It matters where you put it. Oh. Because in order for the event to activate, you have to get all of Skyline Valley. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to hit all of it. And the way to do that is... Okay. Uh, you see where my camp is, right? Uh... Bottom left of the park. Yeah. If you go a little bit over to that, you see this, like, big tower with, like, the circular water tank-looking thing? Yeah, yeah, that. Or that building right there is where you're supposed to nuke at. To get the whole park. At least that's what my friend told me. Wait, you mean the tower? I mean the uh, the oil well, the gas well. The gas well, yes. Seems easy I was just enough. trying to go based off of memory, because I didn't have my map open. <laughs> <laughs> but the cool thing that happens with the nukes, oh my god, the nuke zone doesn't exist in this area. The storm, yeah, like the, the storm, storm stuff, sucks it up, it, it, turns it yeah, into energy. Yeah, and it gets worse. Mhm. Mm I just thought that was yeah. a pretty cool idea. It is pretty cool. Now you fought the Thrashers, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're great. Turkey! <laughs> I'm actually gonna make a little gobble gobble after you. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> intestines. I can, I can make a little all gobble the gobble. Intestines. <laughs> you got some intestines on you? Yes. Alright. Oh, Craig, you're down here now. Okay, good. You're back where you're supposed to be. There's a super mutant spot in Skyline Valley that's really nice to go to. I just heard a meow. I swear. There's a cat right here. Where? Right here, catty. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think Craig is broken. Is he? Yeah, now it now it's sending me back up to the visitor center because he's supposed to be here, but he's mm -hmm. up at the visitor center, apparently. Huh. He's supposed to be in that building, but he's not. <laughs> Don't worry, I've had my fair share of, uh, issues. I've had one where the entire room that I was supposed to go in disappeared. The entire room. Oh, oh. Here, just take a look at that when you can. This is what I was talking about. Get away! Oh, you aren't one of them. You scared me. I'm Craig from the Foundation. We saw the nasty weather kicking up down here and, and thought it'd be worth checking out. See if anyone needed help. So yeah, no, they're still fixing some issues. Uh, I had a thrasher run by me while I'm trying to <laughs> And I'm killing it. They looked kind of like ghouls, but, but glowed, charred all over, and sparking like, like a broken wire. They were yelling all kinds of nonsense, and it came at us out of nowhere. And just started, started shooting and swinging. You're serious? 
Did you hear what I just told you? Well, better you than me, I suppose. Actually, if you're going... As you head down Skyline Drive, could you check? A, a trail, a, a body, personal effects, anything I could use. I'm not asking you to do much, just to drop a flare nearby. Thank you. Anyway, just take the flares. If you happen upon anything or... And watch out for those things. So wait, they said something about the red trail? This is the red trail, isn't it? Yeah. It's on the red trail. Anything up here? Secretly? There is, yeah. Like, ooh, a camp. Nice little campground. Oh! Wow. So, did you know the place where I built my camp at? It's actually yeah. not, like, location limited. Like, it'll actually let you build inside of that location, surprisingly. Like, right on top of it. Oh, I found a treehouse, too, that you can build that into was like with that? no... That was like that? No, it was no furniture. Yeah, it was like that with no furniture in it. I was talking about where you can, like, place your camp down, and it won't, like, block you from doing it. Yeah, there's a there's a treehouse yeah. I can show you. That, it's an uh, actual location, right? Built. No, it's not. No? It's a... Oh. I was talking about, like, an actual location that lets you do that. The deer! <laughs> Yeah, no, if you go down to Naked Creek, you could build right inside of there, and the game doesn't even care. <laughs> the turkey! Guess what? You see these two signs right here, right? Yes. You can get multiple of these signs for your camp. Yes, I have I a lot the of signs. them. I have a lot of them. That's probably how I'll be able to actually see them, because they'll actually load in when they're buildable objects. Mm hmm. I'm trying to see how far the red trail goes. It goes up pretty quick. Ah! Oh, hello. It's a bear. Hi. <laughs> what bear are you talking about? I didn't see that's, a bear. It's that's, that's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Hmm. Now, now I feel what hikers feel whenever they're walking up a trail sometimes. <laughs> oh, Picnic table dear. with a dead body. And the girl had a dead body. A girl back there had. A, the, I was scared. Oh, we're scared about the guy that had the girl back there. He had his hand mm -hmm. caught in the grill. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> toilet. Huh. What's in the toilet? Nothing, beer. probably. Yeah, nothing in beer. I'm still following the trail. There. It splits. You yeah. can go right or left. I'm going right. There's a dead hiker right here. Hmm. Going right. Oh, There's a guy Anyways, riding a tractor that died. <gasps> oh my that's god! The, that's a Skyrim reference. Yeah, that's Skyrim. Okay, so it leads it leads Freaking back to the, shine. to the it leads back to the road up to Vault eighty three <laughs> Vault ninety ninety six. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna go on a hike, and then I'll see you at the, I'll see you at the uh, vault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. I'm going off the beaten path here because there's this like tiny little trail. I usually tend to fo follow like small gravel paths as well. It always leads me somewhere. Yep, it just led me to. Huh. Okay. It just led me back up to the radiation workshop up here. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that. There's a few other small ones. I, I think I showed you M M93, right? Yes. Yeah. I was just wondering if they'd actually like connect the pass or not, and they did. I'm glad I didn't have to move my camp though. 
I was so mm -hmm. nervous I'd have to move my camp, and I was so, like, oh. My other camp, it was so, so close to that ranger station bunker where you're at. It's pretty much nearly right on top of it, right where you see the icon, like on the actual map. Like the actual like look of the bunker, that dome shape. Yeah. Where my other camp is. And I I thought they would remove it, but no. They just raised the ground a bit, so some of my stuff looked raised. But I understand why that place didn't really get changed too much, because over there is also a little bit of lore from back before the game came out with uh, Wastelanders. So there's pages talking about 79 over there. And like hey, a map a fragment. Need, but... Yes. He's a part of the storyline. Just a few of my fellow rangers. And when the bombs dropped, we made our way to the bunker. Because unfortunately, you're going to find a lot of dead park rangers. I found a, a few already. Mm-hmm. That used to be all of his friends. Others left to search for their families. No, I'm not sure, sure if they died or as little. So he's just one of the guys that are scared. Very scared. Sure. Me? I'm fine though. Oh. Ah, oh, I like his gallery. Gallery de Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> his gallery is very fancy. Ooh, I had a cool little hidden spot up here. Hold on. What is this? Binoculars. Huh. It's a random glowing yoke. Hold on. What is this? Oh. Okay, that's cool. Actually. So there's these rock climbers, right? Yeah. There's I'm a few seeing, other like, spots yeah. without rock climbers, too. I just thought that was pretty cool. It's all over the map. There's actually, there's actually one by my camp, too. Really? Yeah. There's a few spots where like rock climbers are just like up in, just, up in there. Yeah. Like, this guy's hanging by his foot. Wait, how many Yao glowing Yao guys are over here? Four of them? Okay. Cool. Uh oh, reload, reload, reload. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna mark that down. We'll mark the coordinates down here. Alright. Multiple Yagoi spawns. Okay. Oh, so they were, uh, they knew about the Scorch Plague then. Mm-hmm. The Scorch with a stem pack in its head. Imagine just killing something like that. You have nothing else left, so you just... Dab it with your only stem pack. Okay. Weather station, what do you got for me, huh? What secrets may lie within you?
You've explored all of Skyline Valley yet, or no? Um, almost. I've, I've, okay. I haven't been to the communist camp yet, and I haven't been to the slum I was wondering yet. if you wanted me to just go to every tower so that you can unlock every location. Or I did see that, where they're um, at. I did that on the launch day, but I wasn't able to play okay. that much, so... Yep. My first location I visited was down at Camp Liberty, which is all the communists. It's pretty cool, honestly. Though I'll say, be careful of the communist snipers. They hurt. They really hurt. The storm started in January, a few months after the bombs. Hmm. Interesting. Since I've been through the story, I'm not going to reveal too much, but I know how this storm was created. I know, I'm, I'm trying to get a... Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a go. random Assaultron spawn in the middle of a forest? What? Okay. Only the, the shelter key can unlock? Ah, oh, okay. You have to go through the story for that. Oh, uh, okay, I, gotta, I guess I'll walk all the way back. I already opened up like every door and everything, mm -hmm. so I'm just like... What do you do okay. on like the visitor center and go back there after doing whatever it is you need to do? I'll kind of like show you something that's really cool. Y you know what I mean. I'm just trying not to reveal it. Ah, uh, it's hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, no! Hold on. Don't hurt my junkyard dog. Stop it. Okay, what new player just went over here, spawned all the threshers back in, and just left, left them there and let them destroy my camp, really? Okay. Nice one. The uh, location with my camp has some pretty interesting lore over here as well. Because it's like this hole and there's a whole bunch of like dead Blue Ridge caravan people. Just all over oh the yeah, place. that reminds me. There's supposed to be a Blue Ridge Caravan um, update coming story out line. where you can have yeah. your own. But it's gonna cost a lot of caps because you're basically creating an event for people, and they can help you out with your caravan. Yeah. You can get rewards from it. Yeah. So if you want to read up some lore over here in my area about the Blue Ridge, you can come over. Actually, really interesting. High no oh yeah, I haven't like I haven't been to high knob lookout yet. The uh, high knob lookout? Want me to just fast yeah. travel there so you can get there? I'll, I'll get it. Okay. I'm just I'm just doing my own little exploration and I'll be posting the VOD eventually to YouTube so that way I can yeah. Yay! Scrapped everything. Lightning harvest. I already got the note on lightning harvesters because I already did. I already went to one of the events and I was exploring around. Mm -hmm. The least thing I'll say that I hated about some of the missions is that it's a lot of fetch quests. Yeah, but I mean, that's like most... You know. Most of them, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or most <laughs> RPGs. Mm-hmm. Okay, who put the panda in the toilet? That's not very nice. 
Southern route, day one. We've been sent back to Shenandoah to try and reestablish our old trade routes. Jana said she'll be in touch soon, but she's got her little protege, Marley, running the show. So I guess we're stuck with her as her contact. Others seem to think she's alright, but she seems pretty cool to me. Anyway, we got no choice if we want to get paid. To greener pastures, I guess. Alright, where's the next note here for day two? I'm looking. Wow, these, uh... Propaganda leaflet, I found that. Okay. Here's the most recent one right here. Day three. We're being watched. Something's been following us since we crossed into the region. On the bright side, though, we found a nice little campsite. It's secluded, and we found these weird chicken bird things. Tastes pretty good. We've got chicken some birds. more to bring back up to the Big Bend after this little scout adventure is done. Yeah. Next paper. Day six. Something's picking us off. Judy and Joel disappeared in the night, and one of the Brahmin was gutted. Maybe more like shredded. Denise panicked and made a break for it, but we found him not far, dead on the road. We buried him on the little island next to the river. This place is too dangerous. We're going to pack up tonight and head back north. So this is them encountering threshers, is what it sounds like. And I oh, yeah, do isn't have. There a, isn't there a threshing nest at, at the. Uh... At my yeah, place, yes. Nest. And the little birds they're talking about that they kept catching and eating, the they're pheasants? called pheasants, yeah. Which actually, that is our real things, so I mean. Mm -hmm. Ah! Back up! Threshing. You know, they're all also, over I like the place it. at my camp. I like, I like how the threshers look, uh. Mm. Look, like cooked. <laughs> they look like cooked. Mm hmm. They look like big cooked bird. Big, big bird. They got big stompers, yes. too. Holy cow. They got really big stompers. Okay. So they said on the island, they buried their friend next to this little site. So I'm going to see if I can find the grave. Found it. Hmm. Found it. Oh, and right as I got to the grave, uh, fight immediately started. Oh. It just spawned in. 12 thrashers right as I got to the grave. Okay. So that's a scripted event. A little bit. That's cool. Tunnel! I suppose the tunnel isn't like a marked location. It's just... Mm -hmm. Unmarked. I love that the uh, thrashers give you just like random junk sometimes. It's not just like specific. Kind of like how the uh, um, golfers do. Mm hmm. And rad toads. Yep. Which means it kind of means that their diet is basically mixed in with a whole bunch of stuff. Mm hmm. Like, I just got Mr. Handy Feel out of it, screws, and a septic. A whole bunch of stuff. Hello, Super Meat and Pillager. Have you fought the uh, ancient behemoth in this region yet? No, not yet. Let me know when you want to fight him. I know where he's at. It's really cool. Oh, nice, nice boss. If everyone want pre-war food, and just come to Shenandoah National Park. <laughs> Is that a sweet roll? Wait, have you seen the new um, shelter? That's just really cool. 
The camp, the campground. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I see. I kind of want it, but I don't have the, I have the atom at the moment. Mm hmm. Also, whenever you do want to fight the ancient behemoth, it's gonna be on the top of the grindstone arch. Oh, yeah, I've been I've been there yeah. already once. I haven't I didn't see it or spawn it, cause, yeah. Look at to kind of like the far left side of the arch. It takes a minute to find. Okay. Oh, he looks relaxed at least. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very relaxed. Yeah, okay, cultist. I know you regret nothing. Now shush. You're dead now. Hemlock Springs... Dump! <laughs> also, before I... Go there, I swear I saw something this way. Oh, there is something over here. Hey, you want a pretty unique camp location that I have yet to see anyone build at? It's gonna be over a little bit behind the old Primora mines. So like to the left oh. of that hole that looks like you know, the hole into the cave on the map. Oh, yeah, yeah. To the left I've of that. It, yeah. There's like a little pond with like a, what's it called? A deck on it. Pretty cool little spot. If you walk a little to the left over here, you're going to find just this hidden little shack. No, I thought I'd find more over here, but. Mm hmm. So, you know what's cool with the outfit that I'm wearing? Why? Which you will get it from the quest eventually. Um, cult has become friendly to you. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yes. You have to, uh, you have to infiltrate a trade him, I think, as part of a uh, quest line. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a stack of logs over here. And some blood eagles fighting. They're fighting the electrician! Thanks, electrician. Ow! <laughs> Ow! I didn't know that would hurt me. Um, well, that's a nice little camping spot. Holy cow. There's a whole flat area right <laughs> over here by the, the slow creek. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Dangerous Pastimes is up. I'm going uh, yeah. to head to that event. Okay. I'll say be careful if you do try this event. The enemy that you're going to have to fight electrocutes all buildings and every piece of metal around it to where you can instantly die if you touch them. Oh, yeah, I've seen For that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably gonna happen to me, because I always forget. Drives the lightning harvesters by killing the lost. It makes me wonder how far, mm. uh, how far there'll be edge of the world secrets 
on the edges of the world here. Um, actually... Like, you can go pretty far into the Cranberry Bog. I almost made it to the uh, You see where my sign. marker is? Yeah. Down there at the very bottom left, kind of on that white line. That's where one of my friend's camps are, so you can go very, very down low. Into there. Like, very low. Also, if you do travel behind the uh, big metals gas well, there's like a hidden little shack out there. Just on its own. Ow, the lightning crab killed me because I was on metal. Oh, Ow. yeah, done it off the map at the very bottom. <laughs> yep. Thunder crab! Ow, it killed you if you're high metal. Just be careful. <laughs> and it disappeared. I made it here just in time as the event ended. <laughs> the crab disappeared, so I can't loot it. God damn it. Ah. Sorry about that. Ah, really? Is there a body anywhere where I can loot the crab? Because the crab disappeared for me. Please work. Nope, I can only transfer. Tran I can't. Okay. The game took the crab away from me, so I don't get anything from it. Crab! Where is it on your screen? Because it's invisible for me. It no. was over here. It's right, it's, it was right here where the fire is. I got it. Just someone turned it into I goo, and the goo's like underneath <laughs> the map. Okay. We're good. Let's see what I get, what I got from it. <gasps> Ooh. I am crafting those immediately. Would you like some? Uh. I got no, the Shenandoah t shirt and jeans. Ooh, it looks fancy, but. Oh, 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 oh. wait, what did I get? I didn't check you what get? I got from the event. Look at your nuts. I got the burnt chemist coat. Ooh, I haven't seen that yet. All of a sudden, one of the Stop. plans is you just Listen, get the electrician look. as an ally. That would be nice. <laughs> right? Wait, stop listening. Oh, this is a road. Duh. <laughs> stop listening. Look, this is a road. <laughs> <laughs> Me being dumb. Have you seen the new, like, hilarious billboard that you can Whoa. get? Where. Uh, what? There's a hilarious billboard that you can get where it's the mascot of the pioneers holding a oh, kid yeah. by their head saying. Let's take out the trash or whatever, like, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Also, hi, Ray! That's that's a link to Farn. <laughs> that's a link to Farn's right. coffee. <laughs> that is not me. <laughs> Examine blood. If I'm blood, surrounded by a lost fallen in battle. Some must have taken their last standard, likely one of Craig's group. A close inspection, it turns out they... They took out the loss. They were chased from the manor. No drag marks. They so they must have survived. Ooh. You need to die. Oh hi. Cold shoulder. Oh hi. Up here hiding. Hi bud. Also, that lightning is very, very strong and dangerous. I'm gonna go check out my clothes that's in the uh, dryer here in a second. We just get out of combat here. Do, 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 do. I forgot this mission is where you have to put flares. I copied the moss twice and it still worked. <laughs> That's the manor. Hey, uh, Fox, you got any nuclear key cards at all? Uh, not on me. Okay. 
I'm just curious, because I used all 100 of mine just going around nuking the freaking robots. Just constant. Because they give you a lot of good stuff. So, you know fusion cells, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I may or may not have over 600,000 fusion cells because of that event. <laughs> so I had to give it to one of my friends at Fallout first because I don't have it yet. So you can just put it in his little like ammo storage for me. Because I was just completely overweight just starting to do the mission over and over and over. Oh, Craig, Craig finally returned back to Thunder Mountain to the power station. Yay, thanks, Craig. You did it. Ow. Lightning killed me. <laughs> Why am I always so unlucky with the lightning? I hate it. I hate it. Uh, and it almost just hit me again. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. No, 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 no. We're okay. We're okay. All right. Craig. Also, did you see that it's uh, for an annual park pass, it's $398? That is too much. <laughs> well, it's $30 for, if it's $30 for a coffee and donut, mm -hmm. an annual park pass, that, that's like what? For us, like what? It's supposed to be like 5 or $6, right? For mm -hmm. something like that. So if you had like three... So if it's $30 for that, three nine or 390 that's, uh, what? What's 390? Manor, Gardener's uh, Diary Entry. 13. Diary. So 13. So it's 13 times 5. Hmm. 13 times, or... Yeah, 13 times 5 would be how much it would cost. 80-some 80, 80, 80 dollars for a park pass. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's kind well, of I'll reasonable. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Tell me. Oh, okay. Please tell me. That was Rob's, a friend of mine. They. What did you find? Please tell me. Hey, hey, that belongs to Rebecca. If there was no body, she might still be alive. Here's a little something for going out of your way. Can't thank you enough. It's good to have some. 65. I don't think that's right. Wait, yeah, that's right. Never mind. So he's, yeah, he's $65 for a park pass. That's not... That doesn't sound too bad. That's like average. I mean, it's also $70 for a motorcycle entrance fee, but you know. Oh, I didn't get the manor? I thought I did. Dark Hollow Manor. Welcome to the horror show you never knew existed. <laughs> what is that? Why is that purple? Ah! Purple stuff, danger!
Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Hello. Welcome, welcome back. Alright. I'm gonna read this note that I found over here to kind of like the right side of the Dark Hollow Manor. It's like the little garden area. It says here, Manor Gardener's Diary Entry. I found one Dear for the security diary. guard too. It's just me again. Writing from my favorite spot, the smell of fresh flowers in the air mixed with the cool, calm breeze on my skin. I just love spending time out here. I promise that one day I'll own my own beautiful gardens instead of tending to the Stoll's families. They're nice to us and all, but rumors have been spreading that we've all been replaced by robots eventually. You know how Mr. Hugo cares for accuracy and efficiency. Anyway, I better go before I get caught. It freaking, wasn't what you think. He's freaking lost. They have the craziest voice lines. Oh, I thought you were laughing because you saw me get struck by lightning. I was like, but it's not what you think. <laughs> huh. What were they saying to you? It's the stuff that they say is just hilarious. It's just like... They say like just like it's like oh look the ghosts they were friendly now they're mad it's like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> they just want to give me love that's all they want to do I've heard some saying like it's not my fault as they're like attacking you yeah I'll be right back again give me one second all right. Yeah, all these, why are there so many handmade? Handmade. Current orders. Photo outside the, uh, the outside the vault. Holding the manor is essential for s f supply runs. Utilize any materials left over from the unfinished sectors of the vault. Fortify the atrium. Ensure you're sending someone down to report back at the end of each day. If you need backup, or use the intercom in the wine cellar. Once the situation up there becomes safer, we can begin expanding outward. James Oberlin. Isn't he the guy that worked on the, uh... Never mind. situation. You need to get into the vault. I need to get out. This door isn't intended for easy access, so it'll require joint authorization from both sides to open. I'm on this side and authorized. You're on that side and not authorized. But no worries. I've got a plan. All of the lost were once members of the vault and should have authorization. You just need to get a hold of a hand and scan it. Easy peasy. Hi. 
I promise I or someone in here will be more than happy to answer all of your questions. Let's just get you inside first, okay? That's right. Just a bit of postmortem amputation and we'll be set. Just scan oh, the hand once okay. you got it. So an I'll actual hand. Standby. Got it. Promise. Time's a ticking. Chop chop. Ooh, ooh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run, but I'll be back. Scan a hand. Bye. Falmouth Winery Merlot of 2060. I'm sure that will come important later. It's an item. I want to see it. No? Okay. Guess not. <laughs> Ew. That's nasty. If you are, say so, because that would be a major breakthrough. Ghoul? Isn't that, I don't know, a bit childish? Sure, I'm a ghoul, and you're not lost. Glad we got that straightened out. Ah, good. Well, bit of a downer, actually. Got my hopes up for a second, but I digress. Anyway, I'm Hilda. Hilda Stoltz. Hi. I'm head of the organic sector, which is exactly where I'm about to run off to. But don't worry, my Uncle Hugo is very eager to meet you. Just down the hall, in the overseer's office, as he is the overseer. Oh, and I've disabled the two-step lock, so coming and going should be easier now. Anyway, like I said, Uncle Hugo, down the hall. Toodaloo! <laughs> okay, that's brief. I suck in terminals. Don't you be starting to change things up around here. We got a system, and it works. I was wondering when you're coming. It's a bit of a plan. My niece. All right, messed that up. We're coming. It's a bit of a plan. My niece told me to expect you, and do not mind my appearance. I can assure you, I mean no harm. Can the same be said of you, though, outsider? Do you intend to harm us? You don't say. Do I act as one, though? No, I thought not. Hmm. Where are my manners? I did not mean to be so standoffish. You are a most welcome guest here. I cannot be too careful. It has been a long time since we've spoken with anyone from the surface. Ah, fascinating. Is that the faint clicking of a pip boy I hear? How grand. A colleague from another paradise below the ground. 
Vault 76, I take it? What a pleasant surprise. Oh, don't be silly. You certainly aren't from any of the others nearby. There's no need to be coy. I think we can both gather why I'd come to such a conclusion. Wunderbar. Kismet, even. We are having fun now, aren't we? Listen, my new friend. Regardless of what pretenses my dear niece may have brought you here with, I believe I can repay you for your effort. No catch. Just... opportunity. As you may have ventured to guess on your trip here, our beloved Shenandoah has seen better days. Less stormy days. I'm in the midst of trying to get this under control, but our vault is still in a bit of a state of shock. If you'd be willing to engage in a bit of freelance work, I'm sure I can provide plenty of payment in kind. Fantastic. I'm pleased to hear it. Perhaps I should introduce myself to assuage any hesitation you have. I am Hugo Stolz, overseer of Vault 63, yes, but also a principled man of business from the world of yore. Founder and CEO of Stolz Enterprises, respected member of Vault Tech's board of directors, and overall international man of mystery. Allow me to formally welcome you to Vault 63 as our, let's say, outside consultant. Yes, that'll do perfectly. So he's basically the evil doctor of a supervillain. Got it. <laughs> oh, please. Hugo is just fine. Now, I'm sure you have many questions, I would expect no less, but I promise your first task will help to answer much. Speak with our Chief of Security, James T. Oberlin, and fetch me his latest situation report. I'd like to have him vet you a bit before we proceed any further. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer questions for you about our current predicament while you're at it. You'll do splendidly, I'm sure. What if we go back to the surface? Then nobody wants to know us because of our position. Seeing someone do so much good around. Anything I can look at for you today? Any signs of the condition? I'm tired of all the red tape and security checks just to get a breath of barely fresh air. Huh? What did you say? Wow, it's a pretty, pretty big vault. Um, for now though, I need to get going, sadly. I mean, I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. <laughs> Exploring. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're gonna, cut, they're gonna keep talking all the time. But for now, I means I'm gonna get going. I wanna wish you all a good day, good evening. We'll continue on this. We'll start with uh, security next time. But for now, I means I'm not gonna read anybody tonight. But for now, I gotta get going. And I'll see you, beans, next time. But we'll continue on this tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll do more of this. For now, I wanna get going. Bye, everybody. Bye, Banks. What if we go All right, Beans. Nobody wants to know us because of our. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Good night. What's up? Bye, stream. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Shame we don't have the workforce to spruce this place up a little.